I'm Dr. Ryan DeBell from The Movement Fix. This is Movement Fix Monday. What we're gonna talk about in this video is what I call the opposite or reverse butt wink. We think about the butt wink in the squat as like the low back rounding at the bottom, but it actually happens a fair amount at the top of the squat. So if we look at the spine, let's say this spiny went under the bar here and had a normal-ish shaped spine here and then picked the bar up, took a step back. And what we watch typically for, you know, when is the low back moving? We don't want the low back to move or bend when there's weight stacked on top of it. So anyway, spiny squats down and then we're like hyper-focused at the bottom here, like, oh, is there one degree or two degrees of rounding? And some people would even argue that may not be that bad if there's a little bit. But what I've been seeing a ton more and more, I'm not sure why this is happening, if people are being over cued on this or not, but they'll, they won't have necessarily that much of an issue at the bottom, but when they come and stand up out of the squat, they end up like squeezing their butt really hard and they tuck and actually do like a spine curve reversal at the top of the squat. And then if you think about this person, sometimes they, they have back pain or they have tightness or issues like that and, and they think that, oh, I must be rounding my back. So they focus all their energy down at the bottom, but that's not where it's happening. If that's the only place you're looking for it though, that's the only place you'll find it because if you're not looking for it at the top, then you're not gonna see or find the things that you're not looking for. So you should be thinking about, you know, the whole time during a squat, I essentially want the, the curvature and the positions of these joints to stay the same relative to each other. So what I mean is like this, the, this joint and this joint should have the same orientation to each other the whole time. So they shouldn't be here at one point and then here at another point. And that should be true throughout the whole phase of squatting. So let me show you what this looks like on an actual squat. So again, the reverse or opposite butt wink. So the, they, you know, get the bar and then they go down and then we're hyper focused on their low back at the bottom. Like, oh, is it rounding? Is it not rounding? Maybe they go here. But at the top, this person, they come up and then they do they do this. And I may be exaggerating a little bit, but I've seen a, enough people actually do it this much. So at the top, their back should be positioned here. But I'm, again, I'm not sure where this is coming from. People come up and they go, and they do this like hard stopping thing where they're like crunching and squeezing their butt. And really what I want when I'm standing at the top is like stiffness here enough to hold the weight and I'm not really squeezing my butt maximally at the top. It's, it's not really necessary. When the, when the glutes are contracting, if you look at the hip joint here, so let's say your leg is like this, you're at the bottom of the squat. The glutes will help hip extension, but once you're standing up all the way, you don't really want more hip extension because then you'd, you know, you'd fall backwards. So if your leg is planted and then you contract your glutes, what ends up happening is you, you round the back and like have that locking effect. Now there may be some reason to squeeze the butt to try to just create some stiffness, but if you're squeezing the butt at the top of the squat, which is creating like back motion like that under load, that's something that we have to train out of people. So you can either train it out by, you know, if you don't always need a, some crazy special drill, sometimes you have to say, you know, don't do that at the top and then do that enough so you retrain the pattern, but that's something that if you look for it, you will find it and we need to get people training that out of the system because that isn't something I want people doing repetitively under load. So the reverse slash opposite butt wink, gotta look for it at the bottom and at the top. That's what I got for you guys this week on Movement Fix Monday. Make sure to check out our workshops at themovementfix.com forward slash workshops. And also you can check out my course on how to modify workouts when athletes are having pain at themovementfix.com forward slash modifying. I will see you guys next week.